The Tales of series happens to be one of my favorite RPG games in the market. I've been playing since the Symphonia games, but I've gone back and played past titles such as Tales of Fantasia, Tales of Destiny, and Tales of Eternia. Now, out of all those, I've only beaten Fantasia so far, but I digress. In this episode of Top Tens, actually this is like the first time I've ever done it, so it's like for this premiere episode of Top Tens, I'm going to be doing a Top Ten Tales of Openings. I'm going to show some of the songs with the opening video, and you know, just give my comments on them in general. And if you want to see more videos like this, then you know, give it a like, leave a comment, tell me what you liked or didn't like about it. Anyway, without further ado, here's the video. Number 10, Tales of Zestiria's White Light by Superfly. The fact they decided to go with a J-Rock spin with this song rather than the traditional J-Pop that they normally use caught me off guard. At first I didn't like it, and it's definitely not my favorite, but after listening to it for a while it definitely grew on me. Unfortunately, the English version of this song suffers heavily without the vocals. In the end, I really didn't expect a song like this with the Tales of series. And as of this recording, I have yet to play the game. The fact that this opening was made by UFO Table automatically gives it a pass in my book, though. I don't really have an opinion other than that. I heard a little thing about a certain character being removed early and her story being made as DLC, and that's really just a minor annoyance at best. Number 9, Tales of Symphonia the Animation, Silverant Hen, Almateria by Eri Kawai. This song was sung with the fictional language that the angels use in Tales of Symphonia. While I never finished the anime for this game, despite having finished the game itself, I definitely enjoyed what little I had saw. Still, it's difficult to compress so much story into short OVAs, but even despite that I plan to finish the series one day. On a more depressing note, the artist for this song passed away some time ago. It's unfortunate, but may her soul rest in peace. Number 8, Tales of Fantasia, Yume wa Owaranai Kobore Ochiru Toki no Shizuku by Yomi. This opening, this game, everything about it represents what I love about the old school anime and RPGs, from the traditional looking art style that has the look and feel of what I love about the old Japanese animation, to the feeling of an earnest adventure the game promises to offer. Something a lot of the newer games I feel have lost in their attempt to make the adventure look epic instead of just being humble. And I'm not just talking about the Tales of series when I say that either. It was interesting playing one of the more older Tales of games, and even more interesting by the fact that it actually had multiplayer. Played the entire game with my friend that I usually play Tales of games with. There are a lot of funny moments in it. There's one in particular, you have to like, time your steps with, ah, oh, what's her name, Arch? I'm probably saying that wrong, but you have to time your steps with her, and if you mess up even just slightly, it like, forces you to reset the whole thing. And the game remembers how many times you messed up, so when you finally do it, it's like, we did it, Kles! And it only took us 36 tries! And like, you know, that's another thing that confuses me, the whole class and crest thing. I'm so used to class, so that's what I say, but apparently the official, like, English one is crest, but I don't care. Whatever. I really like how when you get, um, Chester, I forget his name, Kless's friend at the beginning of the game, you get him later on in the story, and he's, like, low level, and it's like, oh man, he's, like, useless. But it's really neat, because, like, if you stay at the end, when you first get him, he does this little training montage and instantly gets, like, ten level ups. And I've noticed that's, like, a trend with Tales of Games. If you stay at ends, even though you don't really need to, you can just use an item, 
You usually get some sort of bonus out of it, like a skit or some sort some sort of scene that wasn't like supposed to happen originally. Yeah, that's like my thoughts on Tales of Fantasia. I really enjoyed it, and I wish they'd make a remake for it. I know they've already redone the game like to death, but I mean an actual genuine 3D remake. Number seven, Tales of the Heroes Twin Brave, Shine by Fun Kiss. This opening and song seems to get blocked on YouTube, so I won't show much of it, but it's really catchy. I've never played the game, but it looks fun. It has that sort of Dynasty Warriors and Cinnaron Kagura feel to it. The three songs before this were kind of just put here as like honorable mentions and a formality of sorts. But as for this song and the ones after it, I generally found them catchy and are songs that I generally would listen to, like, just throughout the day and things that I'm doing, so... Yeah, just something to keep in mind for the rest of them. Number 6, Tales of Verses, Be Your Wings by Girl Next Door. This song is really catchy. I remember downloading both this song and the game after I heard it. Unfortunately, because the entire game is in Japanese, it was hard to navigate through any game and progress with the story. I assumed that the story was nothing more than fan service like the Radiant Mythology series anyway. Nothing overwhelmingly serious like the Mothership style. Ugh, Mothership Styles? What, in, what am I talking about? Mothership Titles. But still, I downloaded a save and I got to play as some of my favorite characters and it was really fun. Something I didn't mention in the Shine Fun Kissed video, the one right before this one, and really any of the videos so far I'd said maybe Fantasia, is that the videos that are going with these songs, especially in the crossover games, are really cool. I like seeing all the characters doing all their things, and you really get a preview for the story that's ahead, especially in the newer openings like Tales of Zestiria, it's really epic, the animation for it. I did mention that UFO Table did that one after all, so... Number 5, Tales of the Abyss, Karma by Bump of Chicken. I don't think I could possibly wrap up the amount of feelings I have for Tales of the Abyss and its opening song, a song which does well on its own even without vocals, unlike Shine from Tales of Zestiria. The song itself tells a story, and whenever I hear the version of this song called Mirrors within the in-game soundtrack during one of the major in-game boss fights, I'm literally sent chills. Tales of the Abyss is without a doubt one of my favorite Tales of games, if not my absolute favorite. Honestly, I've lost track of how many times I've played this game. It's had to have been at least three or four times. Had I had gotten the game on the 3DS, it probably would have even been more. Hell, this is one of the first games besides Symphonia where I actually played with more than just two players, so definitely has some fond memories in that regard. Number 6, 
Number 4, Tales of Exilia, Progress, by Ayumi Hasaki. Where do I even begin? The opening blew my mind away with its high-quality animation that I've come to expect and respect as the greatest. That's right, the aforementioned UFO table. But when you combine that with one of the first J-pop artists I ever listened to, Ayumi Hamasaki, combined with a game that had two main characters and thus two separate openings, and antagonists that fought for their own ideals much like those in Abyss, well, needless to say, you've created something very amazing. On every play session for Tales of Exilia that I had, I would always listen to the opening song as its steady build-up prepared me for the journey ahead. Number 3, Tales of Symphonia, Starry Heavens by Day After Tomorrow. Tales of Symphonia was the first Tales of game I ever played, but couldn't figure out how to make multiplayer work at first. After obtaining the game later, I finally figured it out and finished it to completion with my usual partner in these games. I vastly prefer the Japanese opening over the English one, and even though the game itself for me is nostalgic, for the longest time I was left to assume the English opening was the real one. That being said, this song invokes feelings of nostalgia on me, and not nostalgia over the game, but of life. It reminds me of a long time ago. It reminds me of something I've lost as a person. And for that reason, listening to this makes me want to reach out for you. This was a heavy contender for the number one spot, just as the next two were. Number 2, Tales of Graces, Mamoritai White Wishes by Boa. Tales of Graces was one of the better Tales of games to come out recently, especially since I've grown weary of the Exilia art style that even Zestiria has chosen to adopt as its own. The song itself is easily one of my favorites, perhaps because I'm a sap for music like this in Starry Heaven. Between these two alone, I couldn't decide which I like better. Even when I include things like the video along with the song, it's still hard for me to decide. But I'd say Grace is either won by a very small point, or Symphonia would win by a very small point. Honestly, you could switch these two between second and third place and it wouldn't make much of a difference to me. As for the next song, well...
just curious, before I go to number one, how many people are going to be able to guess? You know, go ahead, leave a comment, you know, do whatever you gotta do, or just ma leave a mental note in your mind if you want to try and guess what my number one song is. Before we go to number one, though, I'd like to give a special honorable mention to Tales of Vesperia's Ring a Bell song. I really like that song, and I think that, like, when I first played it and saw, like, anime and, like, HD, it, like, really blew my mind. Honestly, I'm not sure why it didn't make it on this list. I mean, I, it could have replaced 10, 9, or 8, but, you know, I just really like the way everything is, and as great as Vesperia is, as great as the opening looked, like, and as much as I like Ring a Bell, I don't really like it as much as these other songs, so, yeah, honorable mention, I guess, and all that. Anyways, if you've made a little mental note and guess for whatever you think my number one favorite song is, based on the things I've said already, and based on my already very high choices, then, you know, maybe it's pretty obvious, but the reasons for that are probably not. Anyways, here we go. Number one, Tales of Exilia 2, Song For You by Ayumi Hamasaki. I'm currently playing Tales of Exilia 2 with my friend and it's exciting. I've been waiting for so long to play this. However, I need to give you some insight. I haven't been playing as the main characters in these games lately. My friend has, simply because I did not want to be Jude, Aspel, and even nowadays I don't even play as Luke and Mary. I know Mila is a main character, but let's put that aside for now. I have my reasons for being like this, but despite those reasons, I was very adamant about playing as Luger, which corresponds to why this song overcame the previous two, but just barely. Nostalgia. It's a depressing feeling. It's like carrying a backpack, but it only gets bigger as we find more things to fill it with. But the backpack is also a metaphor. It's not physical. You can't actively reach into it and pull out the things that once made you happy like before, but you can move forward, you can make the choice to change. That's why Song For You barely triumphs over Mamori Tai White Wishes and Starry Heavens. If Tales of Symphonia represents something nostalgic, something that I've lost as a person, then Tales of Exilia 2 represents moving forward, something that I've found as a person. It's as a song says, if it's simply you being afraid of making a choice, then that's fine but then you also lose the chance to change yourself. There's so much more insight I could give, but I'm just gonna leave it at that for now, guys. Also, the opening is badass. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been working on it all day since, like, lunchtime all the way to, like, what is it now, 8 p.m.? God, that's at least 8 hours, if not more, or a little bit less. And I didn't really take any breaks either. I've kind of just been non-stop working at this. I thought it would be a lot easier. I'd just get 10 songs from the Tales of Openings and just put them in, like, order and say, oh, this is the reason why I like this and that. But it ended up being a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. A lot harder than my Let's Plays are, that's for sure. Anyways, guys, if you like this kind of content, please leave a comment comment, leave a like, tell me what you liked and disliked about it, and if you have any recommendations for other top 10s, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please subscribe. I upload daily and I tend to do let's plays of various game types like RPGs and other such things. And also, just in general, if you're interested in seeing more top 10, subscribing and liking this definitely tells me that. As of this recording, my main let's play right now is Undertale. Kind of a niche under the radar RPG, no one's really heard of it. But if you're interested in watching that, go ahead and watch that. I'll leave a link in the description for the annotation. But chances are you're watching this way afterwards, so... Check out my channel, look at what I'm playing, and um, if I'm not playing anything, then I guess I did not take the advice of this video, and I decided to go backward instead of walking forward. <laughs> I hope that didn't happen.